Dear CG thinkers, welcome. One minute about the previous video using artificial intelligence for English translation. 73% of comments preferred my natural voice, so I'm back with my real voice in this video. Today, I share how I made the wood texture of this model with materializer. As usual, the starting file is available in description to follow me step by step from this to that. It's the final nut tree. I hope you're ready to become a master of wood texture. I'm removing everything and I will work with you from scratch. Select the principal BSDF, press F key, then two layers. Quick alert, some nodes won't look the same than yours. So why? When you call a node in Blender and that node is already present in memory, Blender doesn't reload it and uses the one it has in memory. However, the file is a node file and the nodes in the memory are old nodes. I should have cleaned up the file's memory before making the tutorial to force the loading of the latest version of the nodes. The changes are mainly cosmetic and it doesn't change the tutorial at all. Let's continue. I said two layers, but why two layers? The first will be used to create the wood, while the second will be used to create uh, decals. Press the N key to display the side panel, go to the wood section and choose wood 1. You will notice that UV is written in the corner of the thumbnail, which means that this node requires unwrapped UVs. In the file I've provided, this job is already done, so you don't need to do anything about it. <gasps> thank you, Rudy, thanks. No, 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 it's a pleasure. Connect the color and normal outputs of the wood node to the inputs of the nodes layer. In my case, I'm changing the default color to a darker one, so I will let you retrieve uh, the hexadecimal code to have same color as me. Let's reduce the straight of the normal to 0.05. This is an important not to say crucial step in the creation of new materials. Pay attention to what follows. I'm going to show you techniques I use to go from this to that. Let's start by adding color variation between each plank of wood. Add an object info node. We can see that the random output assigns a different color to each plank. By using this output as an input factor for a U saturation value, we can vary the color of each plank. Get the color of the wood by positioning the mouse cursor over the color and pressing Ctrl C. Then place your mouse here and use Ctrl V shortcut. Change the value to 2 and look the result. You can see that each plank of wood has been lightened more or less. Let's continue randomizing the color. Add a grunge 4 node and a mix color node. The mix color will take uh, the wood as first input and the grunge nodes as second input. Set the node to overlay and the factor to 0 0.65. Well, it's starting to be well, but it's not finished. Good randomization needs more than one effect. Duplicate the node with Shift G and set Soft Light Mode. Let's 
Let's add another grunge node, this time number 6. I set the scale to 1 and look at the result. I find the dark parts a little too dark, but the light parts suit me fine. So, how to do? Here's a new trick, using roofness output. But why roofness? Because you can adjust the minimum and maximum value. And I set the minimum to 0.4. It's okay for me, it's time to move on the next stage, which also has its tricks, wear and tear. The basic configuration is classic, with scratches and impacts. The scratches are configured as follows. Uh, thickness is 0.02, probability is 1, distortion is 2, and detail is 3. Finally, the straight um, of uh, the normal map is 0 0.25. Uh, if it's not your first time about the add-on, you know what I will do. Place the, the node scratches on the normal wood link so that the two effects are cumulative. Exactly on the same principle, we add impacts. The node parameters are as follows. Scale at 10, probabilities at 0 0.5, size at 0 0.6, and distortion at 0 0.2 with a force at 1. It's time of edge effects, so we add an edge node. The distance is set to 0 0.016 and the texture uses a grunge 4 node. Add a U saturation value node to lighten the edges of the wooden case. As you can see, a value of 3 does an excellent effect. I've told you many times before on this channel, but the quality of your texturing is all about consistency. So here's a quick question. What impact? Do impacts have on texture. Some scratches and impacts will probably remove the varnish covering the wood. I will show you how. Add a new scratches nodes with a different seed. Then divide the probability by 2. Use a lighten node to combine the, the edge mask with the scratches mask. I invite you to do the same with the node that produces the impacts. I will let you follow the video and I will be right back. This adds details to a texture. Try to think about it more often. Wait, we didn't work about the roughness map. We will simply use an existing node, the Grunge 4, with a value from 0 0.3 to 0 0.4. Let's continue with this idea of weir that lightens the wood. 
It's easy to imagine that the, the opening is an area that will work further. Press the F key and then the local mask. Materializer adds an empty which you can position by pressing the G key and holding down the control key. Position it at the opening and return to the material. A new node has um, appeared. Look at the output to see, to see its effect. You can modify the shape of the mask by changing the size of the empty. Now use output 4 of the wood node as texture for the mask. Once again, we use the mask output with the HSV node to lighten uh, the mask area. Last but not least, you can also modify the mask shape directly using the node. This is starting to look really good, but keep your eyes open after, after the brighter area, it's time for the darker ones. So once again, we are going to add a node U saturation value, but this time with a value of 0.2 to darken the input. Add a grunge gradient node and connect it directly to the previous node. Nothing more, very simple. The cavities are also to be darkened. Let's add a cavity node. Uh, once again, the cavity node is not the one you're going to get, but that doesn't change anything. We are gonna combine the, uh, the cavity node and the node grunge gradient uh, with the lighten node. Ready? Remember this combination system, you're going to need it more than once. The final step is to add decal. This is something I've already explained in several tutorials and it's not the main topic here, so I will do it rather quickly. Request the addition of an image decal and select the image provided in the tutorial files. Position empty with the G and control keys. Back in the material, connect the mask output of the decal node to the mask input of the mix layers. Finally, use the Grunge Node 6 already present in the material to degrade the decal. Add 
I hope the many many people who have been waiting for this tutorial have been satisfied. I'm very happy to have shared uh, the being, being the scenes of how this material has been made. See you in two weeks for the next tutorial, so don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and wait more to keep you going. See you next time and don't forget, we get tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.